Oh shit. Shit. Enjoy the rest of the summer while you can, man. Enjoy this weather in Columbus. Now look, if you need something from me, tap in on IG, Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook, whatever you want. I'm probably on too. At DJIQ614. Don't forget we got taste test Tuesdays today. Stick around and see who I'm gonna bring. We're gonna kick that off in about 10 minutes. Go to guy only on 1067 to beat and iHeartRadio. And don't forget, you can download the free iHeartRadio app and of course tune in anywhere. Now today we got taste test Tuesdays popping. Mondo. Oh my gosh. Hey, Sesta, what up, Slick? Yeah, what up? Yeah. We also have I Am Female Alpha in the house. What up, Victoria? What's up, IQ? And today for Taste Test Tuesdays, first up, we got Columbus Media. Even though I didn't say say that right, because I can't roll my tongue, we have Miss Casey and Mike over there. How you say it, Casey? It's Media. Media. Yeah, Media. Media. You had it there. I got yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't get it, but y'all said I got it. What up, Casey? Now, let's talk about Columbus How'd you get started? Uh, basically, I got started at my house. I started, I saw a lot of the uh, videos go viral on uh, Facebook, and I decided to try it at home. I uh, posted on the Columbus Back Home business page, and it went viral from there. It was, it was pretty good. Now, what made you want to start cooking Mexican food in the first place? Because you're not Mexican, are you? No, I'm from Alabama. Okay. Uh, my husband, he is a Hispanic. He's Mike. Mexican. Mike. <laughs> um, and we've been together since high school. And, uh, you know, of course, you got to feed your man. You okay. know how. Okay. Like, When's the wedding date? Not sure yet. Hopefully next year. But did y'all hear what she did y'all hear what she said before that? Say that again, uh, what you said. You gotta feed your man. You gotta you gotta know what he likes. You gotta mm. feed your man. You gotta keep him happy <laughs> no, right there in the stomach. Alright, so with Columbus Beer, yeah, what all do you make? Uh we make chicken, beef, and steak um video style tacos. Um originally the Tinga chicken came from Columbus Media. Um it's basically shredded chicken, um, marinated in a chipotle sauce. Mm. It's pretty good. Sounds good. Yeah, mm -hmm. usually you eat it with tortilla chips, and it is pretty good. It's okay. Really good. So you have a food truck. Yes. So how did you get started with your food truck? We were talking off air. I want you to tell everybody how you quit your job. Yes. Um, yeah, I was pandemic. the pandemic hit, and um, business got really slow. Mm -hmm. And I took my last check, and I invested in myself and, you know, bought food and started selling it. <laughs> Invest yes. in yourself. The best thing you can probably and quit your job. Like, quit your job. <laughs> just quit. Even if you don't know what you're gonna do, just quit. Say, I, I got it. You can do it on your own. Yeah, investing in yourself is definitely the best. So where are y'all usually set up with the food truck? Um, right now we're at 900 Morse Road. We do have a festival this weekend at the Royal Harvest um, Church in Canal Winchester. Okay. Um, but we were we started out um in on the east side of Columbus in Whitehall, which I miss you guys. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, right now we're at 900 Morse Road and it's right in the parking lot of American Freight. Right in the parking lot of what? American Freight, the furniture store. Okay. Yeah. Make sure y'all check them out. My mom's always out there more shopping for whatever reason out there, but I'm going to have her stop through. Yeah. All right. It'll be worth it. You got any employees right now? You got any? Um, right now it's just me and my husband. Um, and, you know, I've had family mostly help me because they know, they know what, you know, what to do, how to do it and. So yeah, mostly just family, but uh, I know pretty soon, hopefully, we'll be hired. So you and your husband be out there grinding. That's what's yeah. up, man. That's what's up. That's love right there. L-O-V-E. Now, where do you see yourself in five years? A restaurant, anything like Definitely that? Definitely want a restaurant. Um, hopefully on the east side of Columbus. Um, uh, hopefully we can franchise and make this something like really big. Columbus Bidia. Say that one more time. Columbus Bidia. So what was the moment that you knew that you could quit your job and start doing this? Or what was the, the dish or taco you made that made you say, like, this is what I'm going to do? Definitely the chicken. The shredded chicken. Um, I had someone who, um, at first I was serving the tinga, how it's originally made with the tortilla chips. Um, you do, um, like, sour cream, you know, like that. Um, and someone's like, you know, do you ever, do you do the chickens, you know, anything with chicken? Because we were just doing beef at the time and they loved it. I put it on there. They loved it. And put your own little there, style on there. Yeah, I put my own little thing and I tasted it myself and I was like, okay. Did yeah. you bring something today? I did. <laughs> oh, yes. I did for you guys. All right. All right. Let's take this break so we can eat this food. Let the people know where to find you on social media and all that. How can they contact you? Um, you can find me on Facebook and Instagram. Um, you guys can also leave us a review on Google Maps. Um, at Columbus Media 
um, on Instagram is Columbus underscore media. And we're going to make sure we repost you on our Instagram. You can hit up Slick at Super Saiyan Slick. You can hit up I Am Female Alpha at I Am Female Alpha. And y'all can hit me at DJ IQ614. Catch up! It's the Catch Up Show, we coming right back. Stick around. For our 15 minutes, stick around. We got Columbus. Thank you for Taste Test Tuesdays on 1067 The Beat. It's the Catch Up Show. Catch up. Catch up. With you, we also have Super Saiyan Slick and I am Female Alpha in here for Taste Test Tuesdays. Hey, what up, y'all? What up? What's up? And we also have Columbus Bedia in the house. I'm gonna stop saying it like that. They told me just say Bedia since I couldn't roll my tongue. Bedia. <laughs> yes. Say it again, Casey. Bedia. Bedia. Mike, you say it. Let me hear Mike say it. Bedia. Bedia. See, there you go, right there. I got, I got it. I'm going to practice that right there. So we got Columbus, Bidia in the house, Casey and Mike with the taco truck, correct? Yes. All right. So what do y'all do on t- Tuesdays, though, for Taco Tuesday? Every Tuesday, our tacos are $2. So. $2 tacos? $2 tacos every Tuesday. That's for a $2 Tuesday. Yeah, we These same them. tacos that's in here right the now. The same tacos. Y'all don't try to cut them down half size. No, no. Same amount of meat, wow. same amount of everything. On that. They have to look the same. Okay, yeah. yeah these, are, these are big tacos right here. All right, we're going to try these joints out. Um, let's start off with the... What are these? Those are the um, the media rolls. The media rolls. Yes. So what are, what you have there, I think, are the beef ones. Mm. And then the other ones are the chicken. What's all in here? Um, so it's our, um, our shredded beef yeah. and cheese, just cheese. They're easy to dip, you mm. know. They're, it's mm. wrapped in a flour tortilla. We fry it and... Our beef is 12 hours marinated overnight, every night. 12 hours marinated? Yeah. You can taste the seasonings. Wow. I like this little roll. What's it called again? Video roll. A video roll. Mm-hmm. It's the green mild. Uh, yes, yeah, let's talk spicy. about the sauces. What sauces mm-hmm. did y'all bring for us? Uh, we brought the salsa verde and salsa roja. Say again? Uh, salsa verde and salsa roja. Okay, so that's salsa green and salsa red? Yes, and the green one's like a mild. It's still a little spicy, okay. but it's mild. Compared to the red one, you better watch out, IQ. They are spicy. Woo! <laughs> we said the red one's spicier. Yeah. I don't know if I want to try that one. <laughs> Go for it. Mm. Mm. No, it's good. Yeah. We got people that come to the truck but just I for the red. red. Yeah. It's not crazy spicy. Try it with it's the sour not cream. Crazy spicy. Ooh, it's creeping. I'm about to try. No, it's not crazy spicy though. Mm-hmm. Ah, yes it is. Nah, no, it's not. It's creeping though. Mm-hmm. I need something to drink. Oh, <laughs> put the sour cream after that. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Put the sour cream to dilute it a little bit. Yeah. I got it. <laughs> all right, let's try with these tacos. What all tacos did you bring for us today? I brought one beef, one chicken, and one steak. Got Ooh. a beef, chicken, and steak taco. We just gonna go left to right. Okay. All right, let me try this one. Hold up. What kind of um shell is this? It's a corn tortilla. Um, usually we, you know, it's better eating fresh, of course, because they're nice and crunchy. Mm-hmm. Um, I will say that. But mm. they're they better eating fresh right off the grill. Mm. That's what I'm saying. Did y'all like wow. fry these? They're yeah, like, they're fried woo. tortillas. Which one do you like the most? You like corn or flour tortilla? Yeah, um, both. I will say both. Yeah. Mm. So I'm supposed to dip it in the broth, right? Yes. Yep. Okay. Dip because broth. I have always seen tacos like this, but I've never actually had them before, so I had no idea that you're supposed to dip them. I didn't even know I had broth. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You know, and there's no, there's no other taco place in Columbus like this. So you guys kind of just like took over the market with it completely, right? Um, well, no, there's other places, um, mm. but uh, you better I was, say you started it. Yeah, yeah. She should have said she started. I'm over here making a mess, y'all. <laughs> but it's delicious. Mm-hmm. That's why I'm making a mess. Don't look at me while I'm eating. <laughs> yeah. Back into <laughs> when you turn back into an eight-year-old, <laughs> that's funny. Uh, wow. What are y'all favorite tacos? Um, I think the chicken and the beef are probably like my favorite. Like the chicken and the beef? Yeah. yeah. All the tacos now, I'm really messing with the pita ramen. The one you just saw. Ramen, yeah. What's it yeah. called? The pita? Pita ramen. The pita ramen. So it's ramen. basically like a cup of noodles. We add our broth and we add, we can put chicken, steak, or beef in there. Mm. Mm. I got it on the menu now. Make sure y'all say that. Y'all sell those for $2 too? Uh, no. The they're they're $2. always $6. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Only the tacos are $2 every Tuesday. Okay. Yeah. And y'all be where again? Where do y'all be located? We're located at 900 Morse Road. We're right in the parking lot of American Fried Furniture Store. Yeah. All right, last but not least, we're going to try out this corn. This corn is different. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It looks different. It's hitting different. What's all on this corn? Uh, there's, the there's mayo. There's like a... Um, 
Kohara cheese. Kohara cheese. I, I usually call it something. Okay. I know it's a Mexican style cheese. Okay. Yeah, it's like a Mexican style cheese. It's close to Parmesan, but it's not Parmesan. I'm liking this. Do I squeeze the lime on it? You can. Some people eat like it without or with. Mm. I say try it without first. Okay. Yeah. Does this corner of a cob have a special name? Alote. 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 Yeah. Alote. This is delicious. Wow. Mm, that's great. Oh man. Yeah, this is delicious. This corner of the cob is delicious. It's different, y'all. I don't know if y'all ever had a elote. I don't know if y'all ever had this, but get y'all one of these. Y'all need one of these in y'all y'all's life. Y'all setting up today for Tyler? Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, y